What's up, it's Jared Huber, and welcome to my five-year YouTube anniversary video. So today, January 29th, is my five-year anniversary of starting my channel. I started on January 29th, 2012, it's now 2017. Um, so, in commemoration, I am going to be reacting to a lot of my older videos, my oldest videos. A few things I wanna talk about uh, before we uh, get going here. First of all, normally I have my glasses, but I just got this new ring light that I'm recording with. I wanna put my glasses on. It makes this really weird uh, thing on my on my glasses and it doesn't look very good. So if any of you know how to fix that, let me know. I've tried a whole bunch of different things to get it to go away and it doesn't go away. So for now, everything's going to be a little bit blurry. So the next thing is the background. So this is a completely new background for these face cam type things. And I just finished setting this up. I just completely rearranged my, uh, my office. And uh, so now I have this background, which I like a lot better. And I'm gonna be putting some acoustic foam on this wall so it's not so boring, not just this boring white wall. And so I think this is gonna work out well for reviews. It takes, it's less setup, it's easier to do. So with all that said, Let's go ahead and turn over here to my computer. We're going to be going to videos and oldest. Here we go. So these are all of my oldest videos. All right, so just a little bit of background information. I'm 15 years old right now. Uh, so since this is the five year anniversary, I started my channel when I was 10. Okay, I was 10 years old when I started uploading. A lot of people wonder how old I was when I started posting. I was 10. And uh, so if you guys have never heard my voice from back then before I hit puberty, it might shock you. All right, let's go ahead and watch my very first video ever, which is Hello YouTube. And so let's do it. You guys ready? Hello everyone, it's JR Cuber. <laughs> now this video is just gonna be a hello oh boy. to YouTube. Now I am a Cuber. I have been cubing for about a year and a half. Oh, it's just so and enthusiastic. And over that time period, I have <laughs> accumulated about 53 cubes or so. Now, oh, the types of videos that I want to make are unboxings, tutorials, reviews, and entertainment videos. Wow. <laughs> now, if you guys have any ideas of videos that you guys want to, uh, of any videos that you want to see from me, a little bit rough, but leave a comment it's all right. down below. So, I think that's pretty much it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. So that was my very first video. So a few things to note about this video. Uh, in the video I said I've been cubing for a year and a half. If you add it up, that means I've been cubing for six and a half years. That's ridiculous. I didn't even realize that until I watched this video. Also, I'm sure some of you guys are just shocked that I used to sound like that. Uh, here's a picture of what I used to look like. I've never like shown any pictures of my younger self, but uh, that's about, I think, when I, in between when I started cubing and when I started my channel. So another interesting thing is in the video, I said I wanted to do unboxings, reviews, tutorials, and entertainment videos. And for the most part, I've pretty much stuck true to that. Like those are the types of videos I upload. Uh, so that's pretty interesting that I had a very clear goal of what I wanted to do with my channel uh, before I started. Also, if you look, uh, this video is in 1080p. I have been uploading in full 1080p HD since the beginning, which is something that I'm actually very proud of. I've always been very focused on making my videos look as good as possible, and I was very lucky to have started out using a DSLR. Um, I didn't get to use it for that long. It was my brother's, uh, and then when he left, he took his camera with him. Uh, so I had to get my own camcorder that I used for quite some time, but uh, yeah, so that was my first video. Let's go ahead and take a look at some other good stuff. How about my first ever unboxing? This is the first unboxing I ever made. Uh, and I didn't really know what I was doing. I had recorded a lot of videos before this. So before I started my channel, I used to record videos all the time. So I had like a decent amount of practice before I started, although I still didn't really know what I was doing. But back in those days, I had such a passion for making videos and you'll see as we continue to watch some of these, just how enthusiastic I was, which is just crazy. Like the enthusiasm that I had for cubing and for uploading back then was on a whole nother level. Uh, and I can't really say it's quite on the same level anymore, but back Back then I was so excited to finally have my own channel. That whole year and a half that I had been cubing, I wanted my own channel, but my mom didn't let me because, you know, I was like eight, nine years old. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out my very first unboxing. This is probably going to be very bad. Hey everyone, it's JR Cuber. Today we have an unboxing from <laughs> oh boy. E3 Cube Store, and this is the first time I've ever I still remember how excited one. I was to make I this video. On this side, so I was trying to lower it. down the enthusiasm, so let's just but open it up and yeah. see what's inside. 
And I ordered a Kirby Copter. So <laughs> really Hold on. I said, let's see what's inside. And then I say what's inside. That's kind of stupid. Also, that knife was so dull, I remember. Oh, yeah, one more thing. In the corner, that's not Comic Sans. That is called Chalkboard. They're different. Just know that. All right? Let's continue. This. Yeah, I got to cut it a second okay. time. So here it is. Let's get it out of the packaging. <laughs> this unboxing part takes so long, I remember that. Surprising how much I actually remember recording these videos. Like, even though it's been so long, I still remember sitting there and, uh, and so recording this video. It's crazy. I don't know why I didn't move all the other stuff out of the way. It looks so bad. Oh, wow. Turns really good. Another thing that I didn't mention in uh, my first video when I reacted to it is the white background. I've always basically wanted a white background, but back then <laughs> I used a bed sheet <laughs> for my white background. I found like an oversized pillowcase and I was like, hey, you know, I don't have a white table. I don't have a like, I can't think of anything else that could be white that I could use. I don't know, maybe like a large piece of paper or like a, like a poster board or something. So, oh, uh, bed sheet. That'll work. It won't be wrinkly at all. It'll be nice and smooth. Obviously, as you can see, it's all wrinkly and terrible looking, but um, you know, that's where I started. So there you go. And eventually I started trying out different colors. So I had like green and blue and some other colors for different types of videos. So let's keep going. Oh man. I still can't get over my voice. It's so different. Like I, I even know what I sounded like and it still is just like, so that is mind blowing really, how much how different really it is cool. so the color scheme is white opposite yellow oh no red opposite oh, orange and green oh opposite no blue. oh gosh red, white, blue. what was that so i don't know why i felt the need to explain the color scheme of it but uh i did so uh there you go but that, that was cringy. Very, very well. Oh, these videos are cringy. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the review part of this video, which is much longer. I'm not gonna watch the whole thing, but we can just see like uh, my commentary and stuff. And I really, really like this cube. I did like that cube. When I first got it and I, and I first unboxed it, I didn't really actually like it that much. I mean, I wasn't really quite sure if I even liked it. That's right. I wasn't, I, I didn't really like it for times, a while. I really started to enjoy it and it's actually become one of my favorite cubes. If not my Oh, that was a weird cube. distortion thing, but So, now let's do a size weird. comparison. With size comparisons. 3 by 3 Basically, all my early so, videos, I was trying to just emulate Crazy Bad Cuber and Red KB as much as possible. Much the same um, size. So, a lot of people Maybe pointed that out to me, but I didn't really realize it until much later on. So, but if you watch a lot size. of their old videos and a lot of my old videos, you'll find a lot of similarities. So, the turning on this cube is very, very good. Um, I I'm just really noticing how, really like, like I, was, I was just kind of, like, still not quite comfortable talking There's to the no camera. So, it was a little bit, like, it's choppy, so and I was a little bit unsure about what I was saying. I can tell. Sometimes and I didn't really edit it at all. Of, yeah, this is the Kirby Copter. I hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Yeah, also, I've always ended with the same sort of thing, like, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, thanks for watching, you know, I've always said something similar to that. It's evolved over time, but uh, it, it's always been very similar to that, and I've always opened with, uh, uh, you know, hey guys, it's J.R. Cuber. <sighs> Let's see what else. Oh boy, um, I, I, okay, I'm not, this is honestly probably one of the things I'm least proud of. I had a 45 second intro, okay? If you think my intro is long now, if any of you guys think that anything over five seconds is a long intro, like, look, this, is the, this was my old intro, all right? You guys ready for this? Like, this is so long. It just keeps going and going and going. Like, it's ridiculous. Got to a point where I actually had to add a, add a skip intro annotation at the beginning that would skip you ahead to like 45 seconds because it was a 45 second intro because people were complaining about it. It was ridiculous. Anyway, let's go ahead and watch it and uh, enjoy in the cringe together. All right. <laughs> oh boy. Oh gosh. This was a movie trailer template on iMovie that I used. And it's just, it's supposed to be like for a movie, not a trailer for a YouTube video. <laughs> 
got that intense music. I feel like I could rock out to this or something. <laughs> My headphones almost came off. <laughs> oh boy. Slow motion. JR Cuber. Yeah! Summer 2012. I did one for each season. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Oh man. Well, there you go. That was my first intro. <laughs> All right. Uh, so from there, I started posting with different color backgrounds. And um, wait a second. Is that just the thumbnail? Hold on. Is this j is that just the thumbnail or is that me? Oh my! What? Hold on a second. And uh, with the Lubix in there, it makes it much more. Hold on. Are you guys like? Do you guys see what I'm seeing? Why are my hands so orange? Like... Oh no, the white balance. Okay, so I was recording with my camcorder back then, and I didn't even know about manual settings. I just turned the camera on and started recording. Oh gosh, the white balance of the blue must have totally... Or the blue background must have totally messed up the white balance. Well, I don't know how I thought that was acceptable, but uh, yeah, that's why you don't use automatic settings, kids. Switch your cameras to manual mode, learn how they work, so that that does not happen, ever. Please, don't let that ever happen. All right, let's move on. <laughs> um, all right, we're gonna go ahead and go forward a little bit. We just keep on uploading. Eventually, I started using a uh, white poster board, uh, which still got messed up from the white balance and the fact that I use yellow lights, um, but it looked all right. I think in some videos. Um, okay, let's go ahead and take a look at one of my first uh, good reviews, I would say. This is one of the first reviews that I was really proud of uh, and I really liked. This was one of the first fully scripted reviews and ones where I actually did like, you know, uh, some sort of b-roll over top of a commentary, although uh, the commentary was done live, so I'd be turning the cube and talking about the turning at the same time. Also, I remember when I scripted this review, I wanted to make it sound more interesting, so all of the boring sounding words in the script, I put them into a thesaurus and found a more interesting, longer word, or just a more interesting sounding word, so I'll point them out to you. We'll keep score uh, of how many there are, so let's go ahead and watch this. Hey guys, what's up? Today oh yeah, the music. The, <laughs> the music is so bad. Sticker of a <laughs> this exceedingly small exceedingly? can be bought pretty much anywhere. The Actually, no. Is superb. Superb. It feels has less heft. Heft. All bumpy feel still resides in the cube. Reside. But it still has the unchangeable excellence. Unchangeable. Older brother, the 57 millimeter. The feel and speed resembles that of a 50 millimeter. Despite the cubes put together, there's just a random pair, pair of scissors on the side. Right. Those scissors were for that shot where I cut out uh, the piece of paper and put it in the cube, but it was still pretty funny that I just left it in the side of the frame. So I think we're at five words. Let's keep going. The corner cutting is outstanding. It outstanding. Will easily... The edges and corners are unquestionably unquestionably the same as a regular Zanchi, so pops are non-existent, but the centers are different to some extent. This can, in fact, make it terribly strenuous to assemble. Strenuous. In my opinion, stickerless cubes are unparalleled. In unparalleled. So I would recommend this cube, but I if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching. Oh, oh my gosh, my old in my old outro. No way. Oh, I can't believe this. Okay. <laughs> This was my very first outro ever, and the song, as you guys are hearing, is something that one of my friends made in GarageBand in like an hour. Um, so, just let it be. But, <laughs> oh man, this <laughs> this intro, this outro is so good, man. I made this in, um, I made it in uh, Photoshop, and it took me so long, but I was so proud of it. I want to see if the uh, if the mystery video. I want to see what the mystery video is. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's okay. So it just takes you to one of my random videos, but let's go ahead and move on uh, forward a bit. Um, ooh, cubed. Let's take a look at the first cubed. That'll be fun. Uh, this was my very first episode. So I posted a video prior to it saying I needed some questions. Didn't say what it was for, and that's what it was for. So I used to like title them and like talk about what the video is about, but I found that to be kind of pointless. Also, what's up with that? Why is it all like... 
Oh yeah, that's right. I think uh, I didn't know how to export videos properly and I exported it in like this really weird codec that made the video uh, like have all these lines through it like you'll see. Hey guys. So I, I, I did that for a little bit. A oh, it looks so Q. bad. They will basically be a compilation oh, of cubing related gosh. things. Oh gosh. Just keep cubing says, do you know full OLL and PLL? I know full PLL. Oh no, I used to do cross with the uh, um with white on top. OLL. But just like, oh, look how bad this desk is. Like, it's all like chipped up and stuff. This is my old, old computer desk. I had a filming desk separately. Um, yeah. So then I did uh, two through four relay. That was my first ever challenge. We did cubing news. Problems. We showed all the pictures. The the four four version two has just been released. You can purchase it in black and white. Except I scripted it back then, so it was super unnatural the sounding. Quantity of the original plastic color. The cube is the same size as the version one, and seems to have a similar mech to the version three. <laughs> oh, it's so cringy! That. It's just the, the way I was commentating. Oh, just, just my voice is so nasally back then. It was crazy. I just I can't even listen to it without just cringing. It's and terrible. And then this was something I wanted to do. Uh, originally in Cubed, I was going to interview someone at the end of every episode, uh, and so for this one, I did an interview with. Uh, the cube dude, and I did like a couple of like Fisher cube solves, I guess. Uh, so yeah, I used to interview people, and I had uh, some plans to interview uh, people for each week of cubed, but it became overwhelming, and I changed it to every month. Uh, and actually, the first episode was the only time I did an interview, unfortunately, because it just didn't work out for doing more uh, for doing that more often. Um, well, uh, uh, just look how bad the what are those lines going through my hands and stuff? I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I had a lot of computer problems back in the day. Like, I'm pretty well set off now with all of my equipment, but back then I struggled hard uh, with trying to get videos made because my computer was old. Uh, I used my, my family computer. It was just a piece of junk, and I didn't really know what I was doing. I was completely self-taught. Uh, I figured everything out on my own. So it was uh, quite an experience going through and, and just learning how to do stuff. Um, so... All right, so let's go ahead and keep on going. So after that, um, this Christmas actually, you can even just tell a difference in the thumbnails. This Christmas is when my my, my brother actually came for Christmas. He um, he showed me what white balance was and how to set white balance on my camera. And just look at the difference in the thumbnails from like right before Christmas, so like right here to after Christmas. Look how much better they look. Here, I, I don't want to skip through this because uh, you can hear the progression of my voice. It starts to go down very rapidly. Like, listen to this video. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jared Kubert. So you hear the voice there, and then we come down like here. This is like maybe a month, two months later. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jared. Oh, it's still the same. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep going a little bit farther. Uh, maybe like cubed. Let's take a look at cubed. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jared Huber. I'm starting to go down. Starting to go down. Then we take a look at maybe like, this was the original Outlong V2 unboxing of the old batch. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jared Huber. Again, starting to go down a bit. In this video we have an unboxing from the cubicle.us. Definitely starting to drop. Um... Then we've got like, let's take a look at this Aoshi unboxing. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jared Hubert. In this video, I have an unboxing from Light Take. And you see how quickly it's going down. Like it just keeps on going and going. And I think by the time we get to like, you know, maybe like my four x four x two unboxing, it's almost fully done dropping. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jared Hubert. Oh, maybe not. In this video, I have an unboxing. That still sounds higher to me. First tripoon puzzle from Dan or Crazy Bad Cube. But it was just over the course of a few months. Um, so, let's see. Oh yeah, and then my 10x10 10 10 barrel, uh, that happened. This was one of my, uh, most viewed videos. As you can see, it has over a million views. I do have a video that has almost 2 million. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my latest puzzle, the 10x10 10 10 barrel. Now, I think that sounds pretty much very close to what my voice sounds like now. But, uh, but yeah, it gets more. And then I start, I got my DSLR, 
all that kind of stuff. This was like, okay, so I really like the Thunderclap unboxing because this was the first time that I actually like did anything really cool in the unboxing. It was right after Nationals when uh, Chris Olson gave the seminar on how to make better videos. And he was talking about how like, you know, just throwing out ideas. He was basically like, you know, maybe for an unboxing, you would like cut at each beat of a song. And I was like, that's a good idea. So I did it and I really like how it came out. So let's check it out. Hey guys, what's up? It's JR Cuber. And in this video, you have an unboxing of the And definitely my voice is done dropping now. Thunderclap. All right, yeah. Oh, this song is so good. I love this song. <laughs> Oh, uh, it just it matched up so well with the music. Oh, I really like how that worked out. <clears throat> and that pretty much uh, brings us to the current. So uh, that is pretty much it for this video. Uh, I reacted to quite a lot of stuff, and this is going to be definitely a long video, but I hope you guys really enjoy it. Please let me know what you thought of this video. I've never done something like this before. I've never reacted to anything before. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, links to all of my social media and my Patreon are down in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.